a huge, huge shout out to the overthinkers. An overthinker. He watches the show. Uh, to the overthinkers. Shout out to Buffet too. All about Buffet too. This is Parker, yeah? Thank you, overthinkers. Keep inspiring the next generation. Shout out to the overthinkers. Tando Pela. Much love. Ah, to my overthinkers, I'm a male of top and pume be a cooler, knees in Jani Coco, as in as overthink is your overachieve. I'm I'm stealing that. I've stolen that one. I've stolen it. Welcome, 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 welcome everybody to the Wednesday show. This is the Overthinking Football Show. I am your host, George McWena. Welcome to a place where we can speak about football. Of course, it's a Wednesday after we've seen some games. Uh, so um, we're going to be reviewing those games, guys. Uh, the normal show is on every Monday to Thursday at 7 p.m. And Fridays at half past 12, as well as watch-alongs, uh, as what we had last night. And also, uh, some other really cool conversations that we have on here about a whole range of things. You know, agents and their role in, in, in players' futures. Um, different laws and how they are, they, they are done. All there's so many different things we've spoken about on the show. And all I want to do, guys, is to urge you guys to head on over to YouTube, click on subscribe, click on follow right here, and then you'll be able to watch any of those shows back in full. Fridays, of course, are the members' show, where the guys who contribute towards the show um, get their own show where they choose their own topic, uh, and we speak about what they want to speak about on that day, on that day uh, and they get free reign to run the show. So uh, to become a member, go on over to YouTube, click on subscribe, Click on join, you'll gain access to the WhatsApp group. Uh, it's a really, really, really great perk with some really, really, really smart people um, in that group where we speak about football more in depth than we can here on the show. Uh, guys, also, if you're watching it for the first time, you are able to call in, dial in, and add your voice to the show. And to do that, you have to join me while I'm live on TikTok. Follow him, follow me on TikTok. And then while I'm live, there's a button that's there that says multi guest. It's got a blue figure uh, holding a pink figure. Click on that button, request, I let you in. You add your voice to the show and we have really cool conversations. Now, of course, yesterday we had um, two matches uh, that were played. One of those matches was e Cape Town Spurs versus Imamura de Sundowns. Cape Town Spurs, of course, last in the log. The worst team in the league with 14 points, desperately needing uh, some wins for their last seven games so that they can at least get into that playoff promotion that playoff game um, for, for the promotion to the league, um, they're chasing Richards Bay. Uh, Richards Bay got a win this past weekend, so they're trying to put some distance between the two of them. And of course, Mamadou Sundown still unbeaten at the top of the log. Uh, we're looking to break 50 points um, and also carry on that unbeaten streak um, after a very tough game uh, last week, Friday, versus E Young Africans. Um, as it stood going into that game, Mamadou Sundowns had won three uh, and drawn two, and E Cape Town Spurs had lost two, drawn drawn two, and won one. So we're going to speak about that in the second hour of the show. The first the first part of the show is going to be dedicated to Ibanyana Banyana, who played in a world um, in an Olympic qualifier versus Nigeria. It was the second leg. The first leg ended with a Nigeria win, one nil, and um, Banyana had had it all to do when they came back to South Africa to play Kopitori. Unfortunately, it wasn't the, they couldn't do enough, and it ended with a nil-nil draw, uh, which meant that Banyana, which, which meant that Nigeria, sorry, the Super Falcons, are going through to the Olympics, and Banyana Banyana, unfortunately, are going to stay home. It's going to be so sad that the Women's African Cup of Nations champions did not make it through. Now, I'm not going to lie, um, I was disappointed in that game. Um, I think of all the teams that I trust, Bafana Bafana included, Banyana Banyana is the national team, the national football team that I would say I support full on and also I trust to go out and win these games. They are WEFCON champions. We saw what they did at the World Cup. So I was expecting a reaction versus in Nigeria. Nigeria as well is number one in Africa and we are number two. So even with our title, this is the team that we look at in the eyes when we say that we are competing in Africa. And they've gotten the better of us, uh, the, the better of us over a couple of games uh, in, our, in our past, denied us some WEFCON champions and all of the championships and all of that. But I was so surprised to see this Banyana team come out with no energy, come out with no plan, Come out, you know, they were second best to every ball. They didn't know what they were doing in their build-up. 
um, you, it was it was an off game for them. And for, for such a big game, I was expecting a lot more. Um, and I think one of the questions that this has brought up, for me at least, is what happens when the big four, big five leave? What happens when Tembi Khatlana, Hilda Machaya, Jermaine Siopo Sinwe, Uri Filojane, Ulinda Mutalo? What happens if they were ever to retire, if they ever lose form? Do we have people who are waiting in the wings to take over from them? Or are we always going to be waiting and hoping that this team can pull us out? There was also a formation change um, that Uu Tezre has been, Uu Coach Tez has been playing around with over the past few games, where they were playing two up front uh, with Uu Jermaine and Tembi playing together, right? I think it became a situation where we had four strikers, no midfielders. Refilo Refil was overrun there in the middle. And Nigeria, to be honest with you, didn't come to play any football. They came to just make it tough for us and win the game, right? Pressuring our defense at times, and our defense was weak, if you remember correctly. The first leg, we lost it because of a Nukuma uh, penalty. She gave away a penalty in the box. Not, not a mistake that everybody does and something we should be harsh on, but it just highlighted a little bit that that defense, Uchus Marang Eko, is a little bit weak. Uh, when we speak about it. So it was very, very concerning to watch Ibanyana Banyana play this game, be flat, have no ideas, have no uh, impact on the game, especially against the Nigeria team that we're meant to be uh, going hard against. They beat us in AFCON. They've now beaten us with the Olympic qualifying. We're going into, I believe it's World Cup qualifiers uh, with in Nigeria Bafana Bafana in June. So the string of these games should be very important, and it didn't seem to be important in this game. Guys, I'm going to open it up. Please remember that you have to be following me in order to jump in. Uh, feel free to jump in. Whether you are nervous, whether you feel away, don't worry. I'll let you in, uh, and uh, we can have a conversation. But also, we are going to get into sundowns in the second part of the show. So let's see who is here. And let's have a conversation about uh, this Banyana Banyana game. And apologies, guys. Apologies. Um, if you're on the panel, there seems to be an issue that when you're on the panel, there's an echo. Um, so please push through it. We can hear you perfectly um, everywhere else. We can hear you perfectly. The echo is just on your side. They're still looking to get that fixed. Uh, Musasiwa, welcome. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm, I'm good, thanks. I'm good. I'm good. We'll see. Where, I'm going to start off here. What are your general thoughts about uh, the game we played yesterday and overall the two legs? Um, well, my first feeling was in the first leg, it looked like we went there to defend. Mm. 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 I don't think we didn't utilize the, the strength that we had in terms of utilizing our wings. I mean, we always go in with a 4-3-3. Yeah. First leg, second leg, we went in 4-2-2. Mm. I prefer... Um, what's her name? Uka Khatlane. Ajale Gugu Wing. Oh, and then we have Hilda on the other side, which yeah. is how we predominantly played. So I didn't understand what Dreze, uh, Deje was trying to implement. Mm, mm, it's like mm. she was trying to do something new. And at this stage, when you're trying to qualify for something this important, I don't think you should try and change things the way she tried to do it. Even mm. Naizolo. We, we only started to heat up in the second half, Gashi Gash, when yeah. she started to implement the 4-3-3. After yeah. realizing the 4-2-2 away Zama all the time. Being a and I like with I like it when Usipo Sengwe plays behind um Ulento in one of or oh, our main striker. So mm, I mm, honestly, mm. because you could see Guti Utembi was getting frustrated. Mm. The wing, mm. I mean, the midfield wasn't coming to the party in terms of supplying the balls that she needed. Mm. Um, in terms of, um, especially the first leg. Mm. Mm. Uh, was there even oh. a midfield? Was there even a midfield in this game? Because in as much as we heated up in the second half, Hey, midfield play, I saw Tessani come in and she was meant to be a 10, but then she was now running at the top of the pitch. And... <laughs> 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 but 
So my problem with the first leg was Urifilo Jane was playing in too deep. She was trying mm. to cover the defense. Mm, mm. So she couldn't necessarily play her box to box midfielder role that she does. Yeah. You know, supplying Ubelinda with the ball, letting Linda do the magic, giving her the space um to supply the wingers. Besnganama wing and besnganama midfield basically. <laughs> and the fact that she didn't um call up U -U 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 Nicole as well. Yeah, mm. Kara, because for TS Galaxy, she's she's performing um brilliantly. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, even when you look at the Hollywood Bet Super League at the moment, we've got youngsters like Obotano Halls playing for JBW. Mm, mm. I think maybe if she tried to bring her in, you know, before she she she, she selected her final squad to see how these youngsters uh, work, mm, maybe mm. the one pressure of, uh, if she was trying to bring in something new, mm, mm. maybe okay. Tano Halls was going to provide that. I, the, she also didn't play Ulen Tweni, what's her name, mm. the striker from Sundowns, Untabi Singh. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. An out and out striker, able mm. to hold the ball, able to make moves. She's a complete I, I, striker, I, I, so I understand. I, I actually, I'm going to come to that. You raised two things, but let me get everybody on because there's a question I want to ask you. Uh, let me bring in Uku Mokuma. Welcome to the show, my brother. How are you? Thank you. I'm a sound dancer for Tamele Sadi. I, I don't know why you're telling me, man, about sundowns. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying I'm a sound dancer for Tamele Sadi. I never have any head moments. I'm just emphasizing oh. on that. Okay. <laughs> Kuma, tell me. <laughs> Banyana, Banyana, Nigeria. What, what are you thinking? Uh, What's your thoughts? Guy, we had to get the first goal of Italy. When you were um, playing the aggregate, you know? Mm. I don't, I'm so jealous. Like, how did you and UCC get to watch their first game because of... We, we didn't have any access to it. Or you watched the highlights. Okay, but uh, very shady sh sh shady side. Uh, Clara was watching on a very shady side. Mm, As okay, well. next time share, Clara, man. No, um, I hope SMBC was also as healthy. But I give you the moral tip they're going to be here. Yeah. Okay, shout yeah. to the game, man. Eh? Ah, man, we gave you no know, game too much respect in terms of like understand Tore, that the hoodie team for 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 mm. Nana. We've always mm. been like number two when it comes to them. So, mm. and I felt in Nigeria that Nigerian side wasn't that Nigeria that we know. Like they were there for the taking. Yeah. And also, we lost on too many second goal and. Um, Second goals. I don't know if it was because it was very hard in Pennsylvania and maybe mm. the Korean would say like, they are goals. Because remember, Nigerians are a very physical side, the mm, mm, mm. So mm. um if you try to play the overhead and stuff, the balls over the head is difficult. So you have to play those short passes and stuff. Even then mm. you couldn't get it right, you know? mm, mm, Um mm. second half I have I have to reiterate um this is sentiment, you know? Mara. I felt like Kama eighteen minutes, but that was when we actually saw an intensified Banyana. Mm. We even saw the formation changing from a four four two to a back three at some point. <laughs> they were going they were going all out. They were going all out so my, my thoughts are too little too late, you know? Mm. Although mm. they the goalkeeper some save, even those shows that you played. We're very timid, man. There was no venom in there. Mm, mm, mm. There was an opportunity to, to cement our dominance in recent times over Nigeria. And mm. I guess we didn't take it. That's the only custom team part about that. Mm. Okay. Uh, Mto, welcome to the show, my brother. Hey, how are you, Mr. Uti? Hi, man. I'm still sad. I'm heartbroken, but it's fine. What did you think of the game, Mto? You know, I, I, I don't think the tactics worked out for Coach Des. And honestly, for experimenting in the first leg and even this important game, it was too late to do that. And not against in Nigeria and on a key game like this. So, again, yesterday the girls didn't show up. Let's be honest. They didn't mm. show up. Nigeria were even scared. They were, they were not playing. So mm. just structured and sitting back. Mm. They were not playing. I don't recall Nabo doing anything significant in that game. 
Mm. So, which means if we were playing and we were going at them, we could have actually gotten something out of the game. Yeah, mm. wanna, so, but my issue was that most of our keeping were off yesterday. Mm. Were off mm. yesterday from both Jermaine, even Hilda, when she came on, she was just, she couldn't even control the ball. So, I don't know what was wrong yesterday. So, I mean, it was like we were watching a completely different team to, to the one that we've been accustomed to. Yeah. Correct. So, mm. and it's unfortunate that um, uh, they they chose to fro- freeze out in such an important game. Because for mm. me, you know what I I remember when we did the um, um, the build up to this game um, mm. on Friday. I said that even if we lose one in the Niger, mm. it was gonna mm. be fine because I trusted the game. I was so disappointed that they didn't show up. Mm. It didn't mm. show up. So that for me was. And another thing, maybe if she, if she wanted to experiment. And I think Ukosh Desri, the one mistake that she made, and she didn't make it now, she made it ages ago. She should have done what Hugo Cruz did and admitted that she needed another. For me, when Ibanyana is a center forward, that is big because more team with a small instructor, so these Nigerian defenders can push them away easily. Mm. And there was Andy Siwem I don't know why she has a problem with the age, age of Andy Siwem She's playing, she's, she can hold up the ball very well, very well. And we could have had Utembi on the side and we held on the other side and then played like that. Mm, we, need, they, mm. we just needed one big girl to fight Lamati Fenelau and create space for both teams. That's, mm. that's my view. I think she should have had a change of, a change of mind like Hugo Cruz had with Utemba Zwan. Mm. That would have made his team even better, especially mm, given mm, the, the kind of opposition was, she was going to face. Mm, yeah, mm. so that, that was again um, something that I thought we needed there. We needed someone who was going to be really physical with those defenders to create okay. space for TMB. So unfortunately, we didn't have that yesterday. Okay. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. Uh, Malume Kuto, welcome to the show, my brother. How are you? Hi, man. Kimnati, Kimnati, Malume Kuto. Tell me, what are your thoughts about this game? On behalf of the penalties, I will be sending a memorandum to you. Uh, mm. Let's protest. Let me send that one because I think the one is the OT, and we would love to hear the other person's uh, opinion. Yeah, protest. Ah, uh, it's not me. Uh, Get TikTok, my name is It's not me. We must find a solution. Still the one. Anyway, Mister OT, I said you to watch because on the TV, first I couldn't tell what was happening. The ones in my own team, it can play a banana banana or a guy, even the Nigerians. Well, you can't play the Nigerians. They knew what they had to do. I understand. Mm. They just had to come here, secure me, me, and go to our Olympics. I understand, mm. which is what they did. However, you know, you know, it's kind of sad. Play according to your star player. Do not starve your star player. Mm. Mina, I am anti participation medals. Yeah. I am anti, uh, let's do it for the team. I'm all about the team winning. It mm. means uh, we coach like a bad team, Bibi Mutombo. That's mm. what we must do. Apparently, mm. Bibi Mutombo <laughs> used to tell Pirates players when you get the ball, give the ball to Cheese. And then <laughs> he would look at Cheese and say, Cheese. Do something. <laughs> so, now I have one that when you get the ball, give the ball to tell me. Tell me, do something. Yeah. And understand. Allow Utebi the freedom of the city. Allow Utebi to run. He's shown us over and over. I say, what? Well, no. Mm. 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 She mm. has shown us over and over. When she's given the freedom of the pit, she does extremely well. When she's given um, the freedom to select which defender she wants to go up against, she does very well. Because mm. Lava, I, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it, Mr. Yeah. They are sent up a cake hat. Yeah. It's fit, 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 fit. I'm going to do it, Lava. They are valuable. I'm going to do it with her big thighs, the summa thighs, I'm valuable. So, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And every time Timmy would get an opportunity to go around her, a pokeball or whatever, that lady would just stand in the middle of Timmy and the ball. Mm. Next thing Timmy can move. You mm. understand? Mm. So, my favorite coach, 
for the first time in Zoom, in Zoom to our polls, mm. it should have at least varied a play. Because mm. from minute one, we could tell which the attackers and the midfielders are struggling. Mm. From first mm. minute, we could tell which I call it so down. And mm. I feel which that way he should have done something different. You know, like and mm. just say, as in, let's move an ex player. I think for a do or die game, I'll be made our changes way, way late. And mm. someone, I think it's so very mentioned something. And I feel like it was kitchen sink vibes. Then it could have worked because we weren't getting balls in. For mm. when we started uh, panicking last minute, this cross I don't mm. I think that was the moment to throw in who's this lady? Oh, no. Okay. Like a good hit off the ball. I think really we should have thrown her in and said, I'm on here. Mm, We've seen mm, Real Madrid do with the uh, Sergio Ramos when times are tough. We've seen San Downs do with the Alish Kut. We've seen Pirates do with the Bull Lucas Poala, Bola Tinifua, Timo Hipichele. We've mm. seen Chiefs do with the Bomasha Mahite, Bomato. Mm. When times are tough, there is a method that is known across the world. Send your best hitters of the ball uh, into the 18 area. Mm. That way, you balance it. Plus, the opening I say is Wue, so you're being at you. Ta, ta, mm. ta. Uh, mm. so I, I feel like we, we, we failed to buy it in the two when it was necessary. Uh, Agent in the comments. No, I was saying that um, Nara had said in the group that she watched it on a very grainy, very bad website. So I was just saying, on the, on that side, go on, uh, Butlara told us that she was watching it on a very weird place. Clara, hey, welcome to the show. Oh, uh, hi. Okay. What went wrong, Clara? What went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? Sure, guys. A lot of things. Um... I normally push back against uh, criticizing squad selection mm. from the 23 stage of the level. Mm, but mm, I mm. think even at that point, I complained to our forward players, the selection is not giving me that confidence. Hori. Should something not work, mm. we have another plan. Wow. Mm, mm. And it's exactly what happened. And I... <laughs> I honestly just, it, I'm in a place where I would love to pick the brains of the coaching staff mm. to understand what, like, what was the plan? Mm. Because you look at the first leg, we were defending. Mm. And even defending, we were not solid. Okay, Laban. But you could sense that there's a lot of nervousness. Mm. Um, we are, we haven't come in with the same aggression that we normally do. Yes. And you know, they always say Banyana Banyana spirit never dies, but in these two matches, we saw that I think for the first time in a long, long time. Mm. Mm. And then Yama Obani was equally frustrating because the first 11, so now I'm assuming, I don't know. I think the plan was first half they are supposed to run the defense ragged okay. so that by the time Hilda and Sinekolo come on they can get a goal mm, mm, mm. but even from that squad selection I was just like okay I feel like Ntabi saying runs defenders ragged mm. she's not there okay, mm. so like mm. for me benching Hilda and benching Tabisane did not make sense mm. because whenever you are, when you have a goal deficit, you always want to be looking dangerous. Yeah. You never want them to feel like, ah, ha, let's find our feet. And then when that one that balances, all of them comes on, mm. you know, then we, we can wake up and mm -hmm. anyway, they had acclimatized to the game. So I really didn't, get that strategy Hore, what was supposed to happen there mm. um yeah i hear also from when i was watching i felt that fifi kept going back the whole time mm. 
hakem to i post because going forward was difficult no sina ba to my after mambo i think my frustration was also it's kind of that thing yeah okay they've worked themselves into greatness such that on days when things don't work out mm. objectively to be like okay today it's not working out in the middle mm. field is not working out we're just frustrated to no Rifilo always finds the spaces she mm. always gets the balls through like you know mm. so my mm-hmm. man was very frustrating like the whole time i <laughs> stayed here people were on their feet I kid you not, there's a section that stood on their feet for like a whole 45 minutes, <laughs> 45 minutes and it was mm. silence because like, mm. we were just focused on the game, trying to figure out okay, where is the goal going to come from. Mm, mm, mm. Um, Tembi just seemed frustrated. Correct. I share the frustration yeah, Hussi, um, Hussi, Nicole. I said it at the first leg um, that I feel like there's certain things that work with our team mm. and when they mm. work, you don't want to frustrate them, mm. you know, the mm. same way we respected the combination here, yeah, the three, the four, three, you know, that Tembi and Jermaine, I feel mm. like Nicole has registered her name yeah. and she works with Tembi and she mm. should not like, don't mess with that. Mm. Wow. Mm. And mm. also, I feel like she has the ability to impact a game. Yeah. And had Maobani worked out differently, she is one of those people that you call upon when things are not working out to say, okay, shake things Correct. up. Mm. And we didn't mm. have that. Mm. Um, I felt like our defense was okay yesterday. When I saw, like, um, the um, the announcement at the first eleven, I was a bit nervous, yeah, because I was like, okay, Ben is still not there, mm, mm. so the communication will still be broken. Mm. But they held their own, especially when you consider. Ah, uh, Mara Nigeria, Nigeria didn't even want to go for it. But <laughs> that's the other thing. Because, like, we kept now screaming like, "Haba, yo, never mind." <laughs> Those people are not there. Mm. Okay, like, you know, they ended up subbing their striker out, who Kenya mm. Ashwala. Mm. And Liana Ashwala, it was just like I don't know. It felt like just a psychological move. Yeah. Because I didn't yes. see her trying to do anything. Okay. But at the end of the day, we didn't give them. Like Swart didn't give them anything. Mm, the defense mm. didn't give them anything. It was up to our middle field and forward players to make magic. And yeah, we failed this time, I guess. I I wanna I wanna stick on that point. Wususiwe. Yeah. Have we have we gotten to a point where we have relied on magic? Those the, the four or five players, we've relied on them to give us magic so much. That maybe we haven't thought of who comes in. You guys have mentioned Abu Nicole. Yeah. Uh, people have mentioned Abu Ngoi. That how surely at this point and and going forward there should be other people that can change a game. First question and number two. Do you question Coach Des? I know we've all we've had some technical questions about Coach Des in the past. Do we question her now? She tried something. It didn't work out. So my opinion is, if you're gonna come into a game, that's important. You need to have a plan B, a plan, a plan A, B, and C. Mm. You need to select players that can actually perform the certain tasks. Mm. I see people mentioning Abo Andisi and Abo Wendy. Okay, Wendy's injured, guys. Andisi, yes, I've always loved playing with a big forward. That could have been one of our solutions. I saw towards the end of the game, Uhilda was putting in crosses. There's no one there. We don't have the height. <laughs> It gave those vibes, but we didn't have those certain players. Mm, mm, mm. You see, so if you're going to play a, a game where you want to um, play back and then press on attack, mm. as in when the players are coming towards you to try and attack and we want to actually go forward. We need to have certain players that can perform those tasks. And I don't think the technical team and Desiree put thought into that per se. Yeah, yeah. 
you see what I'm trying to say? Mm, so mm, yes, mm. team selection played a vital role. Mm. And unfortunately, this time around, we didn't get it. And you know what? This looked devastated at the end of the game. I saw her. I had a little chat with her. Mm, mm, mm. And she you can see she blames herself. Mm. Mm. So the whole country criticizing her, guys, she's, she's very much aware of it. Mm. And um, hopefully these issues could be rectified in the future. Lay oh, but yay, but, racism. Uh, hey, guys. <laughs> not in... But, but, but is, there, is, is there a situation? Could we... I don't know. I don't want to say things bad about Desiree, but is there a situation that maybe we've, we had found our golden generation, but now we are staring at the situation where the golden generation might have to start being, you know, moved out and not enough is being done to prepare the new ones, the new players to come in. It's a point that I was trying to emphasize all along. I mean, watching the Cecil League and the Hollywood Bread Super League, there's so much talent that we have there mm. that mm. hasn't actually been unearthed yet. Mm. I mean, when Vera Pau was still in charge of I Banyana Banyan, you used to see her at Cecil Games Mm. And she used to ask people, oh, who is this player? Mm. Mm. What's your opinion about this player? Random people, not people mm. that know it is mm. per se, you know, just to mm. get people's mm. thoughts and opinions. So I think it's important that we, we gather a team that can go throughout the country and look. Mm. Because now we're coming up with the same starting lineup all the time. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we can use Ikosafa Cup to try and experiment and try out new players mm. because trust me we've got ample talent in this country mm, mm, mm. Hey, i'm sure Verapa would have loved the idea of a hollywood bet league not having to go to every <laughs> region and every <laughs> but it's fine Maleve Kutso, <laughs> two, same two questions um, are we raising the same questions about Coach Des uh, uh, again? That you know, Plan B sometimes are like, uh, and then secondly, Golden Generation. Are, are we are we coming to the end of riding on the Golden Generation? And uh, is it worrying that we don't have secondary players for when the Golden Generation players are not playing well? Mr. OG, and we hit behind them. Uh, two patriotic mm. country. I think there's a bigger issue. Okay. The bigger issue is how does Africa only have two sports? Oh, wow. Uh, mm. uh, uh, very, very wrong, Mr. OG. Mm. But even if we had knocked out in Nigeria, it would have also been unfair in Nigeria. Mm. Two sports for Africa. Mm. Uh, our, our administrators must do something for us there. Uh, mm. But yeah, I, here's what because I don't watch Hollywood bet, man. So I don't want to lie. And, mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. our, our question is Plan B on okay. the coach. And, and mm. no, my favorite coach. Our mm. question is Plan B with coach Bektubile Uzenan, and the answer is Agazanga mm. Namakuzi. Understand? Le mm. uh, I look at that team, I see a lot of black players there, so I, I don't know mm. <laughs> if, if there's merit to that. Mm. Yeah, 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 I understand that. Mm, but mm, uh, mm. I, I would love to see more players. Back about saving. I just hear with maybe the issue is it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a case of Obilagazi and Quentin Fortune. Mm. I understand the way the, the, the quality is there, but the difference is light years. Mm. We love to, but when you put to quit in fortune, that can mm. really replace quit in fortune, mm. or oh, actually you just stay the same position. We mm. understand. Mm, mm, so mm, maybe mm. that's the issue. But I, I, I remember, man, I was number two, and I think we were a long need, and she did try. Mm. So, I've seen a couple of players like Udiana, but to be honest with you, I don't know what happens in the Hollywood Bets League. All I know is the coach that tried to mm. put a couple in That's all, Mr. Uti. And in mm. Kalango, Africa only has two sports. They must fight with people. Mm. 
it's not like every, it's not like every team from Europe, uh, every team from Kanaking, South America is super. Mm. Played against them, beating them. Mm. Nigeria mm. has played against them, beating them. Mm. They are taking the standard to start to men football and they are bringing them this side, which is not. Good. Mm. Hey, yeah, I just like to it. Okay, you know no. Hey, it's a right. You know, when we were watching the World Cup on the watch alongs, a lot of what we used to speak about was Plan B, you know, what happens when this changes? Do we have uh, secondary tactics or secondary teams? Things like that, or are we leaving it to magic? Do we question Coach Des in, in this situation, uh, tactically and, and, and in squad selection wise? And then the second question is. Yeah, people have 100 caps, 100 caps come, 100 caps come, more but is it time maybe to start blooding in new players? And is it an issue that we haven't up to this point? Yeah, it becomes difficult. <laughs> I think we love Coach Des a bit much, but um, criticism, especially for these games, I think it was the timing. That was okay. horrible. Mm. Like, it kind of feels like she chose to experiment and take risks. And the timing was not great. Mm. But mm. again, it becomes difficult with our national teams, especially football, because <laughs> it always seems like something is off. Mm. Okay, love mm. Because these lessons, we learned them from the World Cup. From the mm. World Cup, when we got those three injuries, we sort of fell apart mm. at 11. Mm. And now the two are still trying to make their way back. And mm. the heavy reliance on them is just, it shouldn't be. Mm. We have mm. more than enough talent in the country. Mm. We, we shouldn't be so dependent on them. Mm. Um, but I think also it's it's a matter of availability of resources and training. Because yeah. I, I don't know I don't know if it played a part, but I think the goalkeepers had a extended camp sometime earlier this year or late last year. Something like that happened. Like there were five goalkeepers that were called from the Hollywood beds. And there was a session there. Something happened to them. They got training. And mm. I don't know if Swar has improved from that or if she's just on form. But, like, you see improvement also with people based on their investment and mm. based on skills and development, right? And you find that most of the time with our teams especially our ladies we are relying too heavily on their talent yeah and it's just like yeah i'm great this is what i have this is what mm. i'm bringing to the table mm. but you cannot then leave her at that or require her to develop you know mm. as mm. and when development comes you need to be intentional about that to say mm. okay defenders this is the issue that we identified let's address it you mm. know in middle fielders this is the and that's, i i don't know if we need specialized coaching for each group of positions i'm not sure Mm. But with our team, yeah, Coach Des for this one on my side, I feel like she she can get some criticism. Mm. But overall, there's just uh, there's just something that is not adding up mm. administratively mm. because mm. we have this we have similar problems at the World Cup. Mm. We're having similar problems at Olympic qualifiers. We'll mm. probably have the same issues <laughs> yeah, at yeah, WebCon, which yeah. will not play this year. I think mm. might play early next year because mm. the calendars are not matching. But if if nothing is going to be done, I don't think we can really expect them to be on an upward trajectory forever mm. Mm, mm, mm. on their own. Mm. And okay. it's one of those things that when you check um, countries like Nigeria. 
a lot of their players are international. I think that's the other thing that makes me want to give our players the flowers. Because when I looked at those players' physical size mm. and I compare where they are playing, both of their strikers, I think, it, at club level in America, have made some history this season alone, mm. you know. Right. So when you put your Tiseto, your Carabo, your Gamete, your Ramalepe against that, mm. you sort of can feel like you give them the credit because they, it was a high mountain and mm. they delivered, but mm. they're not being assisted. Mm. Mm. Okay, so, mm. yeah, I think more administrative than the coach alone. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Uh, let me go to Kumo. Kumo, same two questions. Should we question Coach Des um, in, in this situation, maybe tactically more than anything, not necessarily about her history? And then, um, secondly, isn't it time for new players to be blooded in, you know, or at the very least, players that are strong enough to make sure that our plan B is viable? Um, how are we speaking about the reigning up? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm yeah. using two phones. Okay, I see what does. Okay. Just, just, just turn down the we're other one. About, like, we're talking about the reigning curve best. We can hear it, yeah. Okay, Shab. Um, we're talking about the reigning best curve women's um, go, um, coach of the year. First to become one. And also, the one Four-time winner. Wins. Overall, one. So... I understand why you're going to criticize her because it sucks to lose. But mm. let's also look at her past. She gave us our first to Afcon. Mm. We were the first team in Africa, South Africa, actually, to go round of 16, go World Cup by Kalahang. So to basically start criticizing her harshly based on one game. If you had to look at this game, it happened. Eh? Mm. It was a mental battle as well. You're mm. clinging about your longest um, nemesis for the longest of time in on Africa. And, mm. and you had to have the early goal. You had to make sure you don't concede. You had to make sure you dominate. or Because or, there's no second chance. So a lot mm. of things were happening were happening there. And Wabona, mm. even though she can be stubborn, then at some point I did have some criticism for, for her as well. But yesterday, she literally threw in the kitchen sink, even though mm. it was too little too late. But yeah, man. And also, um, if you're going to become any national coach, as much as you get all the praises and accolades, you also have to welcome the, the critics as well. Mm. So it is mm. normal to criticize her. And her, mm. she's, her job is to make sure um, she, 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 she navigates um, the squad as the captain. Mm. Of Banyana Banyana, her job is not to make sure they have enough talent to most squad. Mm. That is not her main thing. She mm. can go above and beyond, like Vera Pau did, as Bussi said earlier on, but it's not her main thing. That should be done with Hollywood's bed, but Larali, Bussi Sansebai, Go, 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 Mami Lodi, Bussi, Twonyaka, the player. So that when it's time for selection, Vera has to compete from them as well. And the other thing, um, you know what? We've had nations build on players, Casey Mpoid, Ronaldo, Messi, Haaland. Why is it wrong that we do it as well? Mm. If you're going to rely with him, because we know what she can do. I mean, like, she's the, she has the second highest um, transfer record to MLS going to, mm. to, to Mexico. So that's mm. a world-class player. Equivalent of Salah and whatever, even if you do on Salah, I want. So mm. if you got, if we don't appreciate what we have, why not? I think the things that she does on the pitch and on off the field as well. When you mm. think of Banyana, she's the face. So if you mm. play around her, and as long as we have her, and as long as she's fit, that's not a bad thing. I and I understand where you guys are coming from. Mm. You shouldn't really rely on her, Mara. It happens. It's a practice that is done worldwide. Unless well, besides relying on her, I, I think the question is more about plan B. Because, you know, when 
Kambi's not playing, or when whoever's not on form, Hilda's not on form, or those guys not on form, or Rabanza. Hey, we start Kakwazeli. Maro, we've only played B at the new year. Play B, you're thinking, my brother, didn't win us the Waf Call. Mm. Oh, mm. in a local World Cup, oh, it was mm. Tembi's brilliance, individual mm. brilliance, mm. that gave us chances, mm. if we're being honest. And uh, mm. what it mm. says a lot about the, the crop of players that we have. And okay. Awana, I thought Ture Bafana and the strikers was the only men, but South Africa and its shortage of strikers, Nelo on the men's side, clearly we have on the women's side. If there are, Araba born, because mostly, most of us guys here, uh, we only watch Banyana, like we only watch women's football when Sundowns is playing or when mm. Banyana is playing, if you're mm. being honest. The one. Mm. Unless they need a lot by the idol, I don't say at all like a level of a citizenship. Then, guys, you're a number three that can interchange because those are lethal strikers we have. Mm. Oh, one. But I'm mm. thinking that from the soul too. Mm. That's the problem. My one. So yeah, okay, I mean, okay. I understand your sentiments, but it's not up to her to grow the next group of strikers or players all over. We are coaches, more Hollywood days. Uh, let me bring you to teaser. Teaser, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good, Daniel. I'm good, good. Teaser, uh, I'm going to throw you into the deep end for time's sake. Two questions. Do we question Coach yes. Dez, uh, yes. uh tactically, not necessarily about her history, tactically about what happened yesterday? And then the second question is, is it by, by now, shouldn't we have a strong B team or, or players that can, when things get tough or when games need to change, is Kwanuba Kipa, uh, uh, the, the, the golden generation, and put on people that maybe the level won't drop? Yes, OT, yes, OT. Uh, let's start with this one for, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> tactical. Mm. I, I, I don't think tactically is there anything that she's doing which is wrong. Mm. To me, everything is going according to her plan. So, but the only the problem that I think where is coming from, I think the dressing room is not that perfect, mm. you know. Mm. You can say whatever I want to say, but a good team, any team that can play good fall, or even they can come back from losing, going to winning, is because of a good dressing room. The guys mm. who are on the field and those who are on the bench, if everyone is happy there, no matter what, even if you can change players within five minutes left to, 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 to go to full time, those guys, they can perform. So I think the problem with Desri, as it is now, the dressing room, I think, is above uh, her. That's okay. where I see it is losing the dressing room. Okay. But according to the players, uh, like what we're saying, this generation, content generation, I, I don't believe is there anything wrong. Mm. Because, but all in all, I think, again, you must give credit to Desri because ever since she came in, Banyana Banyana, everybody started to take notice of Banyana Banyana ever yeah. since she came in. Mm. So now the way that are starting to come off, I think we mustn't just cry that too much. Mm. We must just help her and see where did now she went wrong. I think the treatment of some of the players, that's where he is getting wrong. Mm. You see, like mm. if you can check the, the issue of former captain Van Veck. Mm. I think there, that's where everything falls apart. Mm, mm, mm. Because I think now everybody who is there is scared. Mm. Because the treatment uh, Van Vicky got from Terry was really totally, totally wrong. Mm. So mm. as a coach, if you want to have a good team, always respect your players, regardless of what. Mm. Because players are good when they make mistakes. You must accept that. Mm. So if you, you turn against the players, I think now DSD is getting an attitude of a Moreno style. Mm. You just want to turn a, a blind eye on certain players and go good on certain players. That's mm. where the problem now is coming. Mm. As long as he can get that correct, 
I think is going to go far because there is a really good thing that you have done for Banyana Banyana. Mm. Then for that thing you said for a B team, mm. no, I don't think that one is going to work. Mm. As long as we are having a Hollywood Super Bad League is running, everything is good. It means we can pick players at any time according to their performance. Mm. You understand? Mm. I think by that way we can get it right. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay. Uh, let me let me let me go to Busi Busi. Uh, we've done an hour on Banyana. Yes, hey, Ban. hey guys, <laughs> but but um uh, Busi, I wanna ask you now off of the pitch. Yeah. Um I saw some moves starting to be made where we are starting to take at least by Nana by Nana, a bit seriously. There was the how train thing. You know, they did yeah. some marketing finally. We've been asking for it for so long. Um, can, can, can you make a comment on that side where we can speak to that and, and what more needs to be done? So for me, I saw that Nigeria had a good thing going on their side. So basically the f first 400 people that entered the stadium was free. Mm. They were offering refreshments half time. Mm -hmm. and they're also offering free transport so kudos to their federation for also putting something um together for them i think mm -hmm. safa was also following suit um with the how train situation but it wasn't enough mm -hmm. i feel mm -hmm. looking at the people that attended it was mostly students yes i understand midweek mm -hmm. maybe it would have been better if it was weekend but anyways we can't argue with the the schedule Mm, mm. Um, in terms of trying to get influencers um, to try and encourage people to attend the game, also a good idea, but I think they left it, it for my last minute. Mm -mm, half hearted the thing, but. Mm. Yeah, so. Hey, zama, but. Yeah, half half. Is there more that yeah, can be so done? That's Is there... basically my sentiment. Oh, are we feeling that Safa, SABC and those people are moving towards a place where we might take it seriously or they might take it seriously? I could say so, but mm. you know, we at a stage now where we, we're trying to be patient, but it's not moving the way we want it to move in a sense. Mm. Mm. Look, I haven't lost faith in Safa. I haven't lost faith in the SABC, mm. but a lot more needs to be done. I mean, coverage of the game. Um, Clara and I were busy complaining the whole time when I did a watch along of a game. I guess we are up higher. So, in terms of broadcasting, maybe even the super sport must come on board mm, mm. and maybe like try to do something where they can stream for free on YouTube mm. because they are so cool. I'm from mm. Kambaman. Mm. Okay, hey, SA, and SABC. Oh, but yeah, basically that, and then. Mm. No, 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 go, go ahead. Mm. Um, and in terms of coverage, um, I think they should also invite more women that are um, involved in women's football in media. Because mm. we were in the media box, and the majority of them was men. Mm. 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 Look, I mean, it's a space for everyone, but if you want to grow women's football, then we should involve more women in terms of media and coverage as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's just there's my a, opinion. Guys, I'm going to take a good more comments. There's a conversation that I'm going to have the one day, I want to have it separate from this one, where we speak about sports marketing. Yeah, I want to, the, the, the specific point I want to speak about, specifically with women's football. Uh, but but we'll we'll have it. We'll have it. Um, let me go to Malumi Kutu. Malumi Kutu. Uh, what did you think of the marketing this time? We complained uh, that these the, that not enough is being done. And Kimo Bakrele, the how trade they tried the content influencer thing. They tried all of those. What do you think about the marketing of how this went? Ah, uh, I don't consider it. Those things that one of them number one support. There's an initiative uh, around how it feels that it has been happening. 
Mm. Uh, we, I think, I don't know if it's politics or what, but even the MT, the Netflix Cup final, uh, as a parent supporter, I would know. And as a chief supporter, you wouldn't know. But uh, they, they, hey, they, they, had, they had made it free as well. Uh, and I'm sure Masanda wanna manage. Only us as Kukuna will know. They made it free, Mr. The AT. They said how train free mm. for the final. Mm. There was another game, I just forgot to recall thing. Bafana Bafana. There was also in Pretoria. Mm. Tickets, I'm thinking that tickets, how train, how train was made available. Mm. Yeah, and so it's not, um, it's not in the Banyana Banyan. Mm. Or in the Safa. It mm. has to do mm. with. ANC uh, Houting or the Houting Premier, that's how you'll see Panyaza. Okay? The Panyaza, yeah. They even interviewed him a lot. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's not, I just forgot the other thing. There was, there was it Sundowns? But there was another pick. I think it was the AFL final. Mm. They made it available, Sabi. Mm. So mm. the thing, uh, yeah, AFL final. Nah, we said it draw, but <laughs> we understand the mistake. But I don't consider us. Who is the iPhone? The Nebam Niki Queba, any Siraz. I would love. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people. Abu 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 Tiku, the Nebam Niki Queba. From what I came, but you've seen your love. Game and for young understand mm, so, mm, mm, so, mm. Mr. Oti, and if they were supposed to go to all of these universities, uh, my fear, even for Santa, every time, uh, when there's in marketing for the final, mm. you will shock them. Mm. They will freeze because they are not used to be in front of 20,000 people or having 20,000 people reacting to a missed opportunity. Mm. Yeah, I understand. So, mm. so sometimes, if I try to go without supporters, they the final behind closed doors, man. They, mm. they, they excel, they are used to that. <laughs> okay, man, let me go to, let me go to Tara Tara. Uh, can you make me a comment on. Uh... On the marketing and the, the, the build up and all of that of this game. Yeah, that one was tricky because I, I think, I don't think there's a strategy in this year. Yeah. <laughs> um, so everything just seems haphazard and last minute. Mm. And yeah, I don't know. But I think. Lib- Everyone who loves the sport needs to take it personally because clearly, I don't know, the mm. powers that be are really not coming through as mm. fast as we need them to be. Because mm. when I was thinking about um, the support that um, our football get, gets, mm. um, I compared it to how other countries have grown the sport and you kind of see a pattern where f- the players first make themselves personalities that have to be reckoned with, right? Mm. You cannot ignore them. They're there, they're in your face. Mm. And that's the other thing. And uh, I don't understand the space fully. So mm. I don't know what the rules are. I don't know okay, if you don't get a call up, you can't post about a match. Mm. who it applies to, who it doesn't apply to. Because I've seen other players, whether they get a call up or not, they will shout out a match on their mm. posts. Mm. They will shout out their teammates, you know. But it's one of those things where it's going to be like, guys, we are players, we are an army of 200. Mm. Let's let's get our accounts in order, mm. you know. Mm. When mm. something is happening, let's create hype. Because you see now... Um, Juicy has a little bit of a following club. Juice, from what I see. Uh, and it's growing, mm, by the way. Mm. And even in that space, I think in the first leg, we were also having questions to say, 
how do they then balance the need to put themselves out there and securing themselves and their mental health and their rest for the game mm. you know because mm. that's the other risk that we run we run the risk of them having to do so much marketing mm. that now they're constantly exposed and yeah it sort of dilutes the whole point of having them camp having them in a certain space so that they're mm. mentally prepared mm. but mm. i think as far as the marketing went for this one <laughs> they tried but it's not good enough mm, mm. Um, as far as their planning i don't i don't i don't know i think there also needs to be a study in <laughs> the leagues that have succeeded how yeah. they were built and mm. just use that as a blueprint because mm. there's certain things that they do sometimes that won't make sense and they're just like okay you spoke about um you want content creators to create content but i haven't even seen you share an announcement creators post not even <laughs> announce anything. just share a post you know repost mm. <laughs> one mm. content creators post advertising mm. that we are filling up lofters we haven't mm. seen that so that, that's another thing. But I think there's also a space for people that are outside of the industry. I feel like there's too much, like we are fixed, we are rigid in how we are going about things. And no one is going out of the box to say, yeah, Temikatan is a great striker. Why not make mm. her arrogant? Mm. Why must she always be behaved? Why must mm. she always be quiet? Do you understand? Mm. Or put a story like, behind her. I'm like I, I, I always say, put laser. put a story behind them. Do something. Yeah. Show us. Yeah. No, but anyway, mm -mm, sorry. Yeah. Mm. So Angela always does. She dances. She cheers on the crowd. She leaves messages at the end of matches in front of cameras. So it's one of those things. But I still say even with that it's a bit unfair to put it all on the players mm, mm. but ultimately i feel like they are the ones that are losing the most mm. so they can maybe be the ones that take it up and make it <clears> their <throat> own mm. and yeah it's, it's a lot okay. but okay. i think we're also missing opportunities <laughs> where we can grab such so, yeah, also, it, I don't know, maybe it might be a thing that you don't want to isolate people because mm -hmm. you look at how prominent the wives have become mm -hmm. and you're like, guys, give each wife 100 tickets. What's the mm -hmm. fuss? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's also that thing, the more you build the person, the more you build the brand. It was very mm -hmm. embarrassing when I saw, well, not embarrassing, but anyway, I saw the banner for our press conference and I saw the banner for the press conference in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. The sponsorships, the difference is, is is so like glaring, it's in your face, you can't miss it. Yeah. And you kind of ask those questions again to say, okay, is Unilever like not even interested in being a technical sponsor? Yeah, nah, you know, mm -hmm. shower mm -hmm. gels here and there. Mm -hmm. Mm. not hectic things but you kind of those things to say what's happening with the sponsors are mm. they truly not interested mm. and when you hear things like sponsors it's being made slightly difficult for you sponsors to come into the space you sort of fall for those rumors or conspiracies because you're just like surely someone else is in Mm -hmm. and the more we don't get those the more the game doesn't go okay. uh, we're trying yeah. to get the league professionalized which that in of itself will elevate mm -hmm. the quality mm -hmm. of our play mm -hmm. so uh, i don't know what's happening <laughs> I, I think no. it's more traditions being maintained that are costing us mm -hmm. and they're not necessarily moving with the world and what needs to be done to get us where we want to be hey it's because sabc is still in 2003 and safa still in 2003 but hey, let me not say anything about that kumo uh what are your thoughts about the marketing efforts of this time around 
too little too late i'm saying this because of i saw that they were giving free entrances to students and first me love to say that a lot of schools around it which mm. in about gp pt all those body qualities in town but you had to come with a student card and you get free entrance wow. mm. and also sir from mansafa in a little bit of marketing thing one mama joel and matcha can do it no matter what it is i want every day man i think that's marketing for them i want to can't they can't they borrow jessica mota room i don't want to say i don't want to move yeah well we could have used jessica mota room mara the other thing and how to have you open as a mara the next thing mara they like to copy things copy things for the like you can offer low lsm the whole dream now how not see you need to hold dream any day you come ahead thank you for the part call over la take a good station in the group who could be more of it don't like it's good more of it but i love this in the babu way call of us what you go good more of the heart one from market or what they you can copy how three no come up going to go for some dance who created match or rugby you get my point, Marudi. And a different chance. After Stirum Selenga starts, there are so many local um, football associations who could have used. If I'm about to take it, especially Babani, like the small girls, I want, they want to mm. see their heroes play live. Mm. No opportunity to come more. I understand what I, they want to make money by the taking second ticket prices. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. over time we can start paying more you progress mm-hmm. so next time we're going to charge 100 rings so, one. so gradually you can start charging my one mara why it is a fine budget marketing maybe influence man george you are the biggest influencer here almost the show every day what was how fun if you knew how many conversations I've had with those people, hey, if you knew, Kubo. My image is saying so of a baller sees me. All the most unless we say a ball. I get to regain man, I read those words. If I'm a fan, but Lara, I would be saying she was listed no football. Those are influencers, not the super league. If you book, if you look at the book, you can see the book. 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 And we should have done that. Uh, like I would put to say, different chance. And like, how do you apply for SAFA? Because I feel like we can do much better jobs. You can see the credit vote. Ah, well, well, you can see the credit vote. 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 If I call a motor bang, I am coming in case. I can let it Not everything you can listen to me. Okay. It's a lie. Even a mentor. Can this be Mutsepe Foundation overthinking football? We can we can make it happen. But it's fine. I don't want to have this my relationship. Never. I want to go and listen to that. Opportunity is to borrow against. What I get from a couple like a party. No, okay. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me. That was the first topic that we had tonight. Banyana Banyana, a team that deserves to be taken a lot more seriously uh, than we do in the country, than sponsors do, than Safa does, than all of those people do at the top. The only question that I have when I leave this match is, guys, uh, here comes here comes Nigeria. We've tried this 4-4-2. It hasn't been working. Can we try something else and to coach Desert, coach Desert credit we made these complaints and she went into a 442 so that's changing that's trying something new right but are we using these players uh to the best of their strengths when we play in this it was a very good chance uh, for us to uh stake our claim at number one in africa to look nigeria in the eyes and it didn't quite get there I've got a lot of qualms with uh, the marketing and all of that that was done for this game. I have a lot of qualms about the influencer stuff. I have a lot of qualms about the, the, the stadiums and all of that. But I want to have it as a separate conversation one of these days because my belief is that Safa 
uh, SABC and all those people are not doing enough. And when I mean enough, I don't just mean on a match day. Match day is the one thing to say, hey, eh, Banyana Banyana is going to be playing in two days' time. Uh, the gap is in the quiet moments when there's nothing on. Do we know about Banyana? Do we know how to feel about Banyana? Are they doing enough to show us those type of things? Here's the Hollywood Bets League. Sure, it plays SABC 1 on Saturdays and Sundays. Sure, they play matches. But is there a real push? Right? What are you doing? And the other part is, is it as expensive as we make it sound? I don't think it's that it's as expensive. Kiba bo 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 si bo tara bo Steph, me I'd say I'd add myself there. We have watch alongs. We do all of these things. I could be doing this in a banana jersey. Would it cost that much? So many different things that come into this, but a, a, a conversation for another day because I'm, I I feel like it goes to bigger marketing issues uh, across South African football. We're going to move on, guys, to the next match um, that we watched yesterday. Cape Town Spurs took on Imamur in Suntowns. Um, this was two different places in the log. Number one, Imamur in Suntowns unbeaten going into this game, unbeaten leaving this game. Um, 50 points. They, they've done the league. They've crossed 50 points. They've done the league. The league is done. On the other end, you have Cape Town Spurs, who are trying to get into a playoff spot, a playoff promotion playoff spot um, that is currently being occupied by Richards Bay, who won over the weekend. So now, Cape Town Spurs, that relegation fight is becoming very, very true. In terms of stats, uh, Cape Town Spurs has seven shots, one on target. Mamelodi Sundowns has 14 and three. Uh, Mamelodi Sundowns had 77% of the possession versus Cape Town Spurs is 23. 731 passes versus 205 from the Cape Town Spurs. Not a classic performance. Um, not a classic performance by Marmaloo Sundowns. Um, I think they've been getting by with a lot of close calls um, uh, this season. You know, uh, well, a lot of this season. I I'd say after that December break, Marmaloo Sundowns has not looked the same um, or as dominant or as controlled. I think uh, Cape Town Spurs gave them a game yesterday. They just couldn't take their chances. But also, if we're being honest, We've, we've said this about plenty of teams. We've said this about a lot of teams. Ah, Amazulu could have gotten a penalty and won. Pirates could have done this. Chiefs could have done this. Dadad could have done this. But the stats are the stats. So when you look at the stats, in as much as we all believe maybe that it's not as strong in Mamelodi the Sundowns, they're winning. They're unbeaten. They're in the semifinals of Champions Leagues. Uh, they're doing a lot. So I want to have a conversation about this match. And uh, some controversy that happened during the game. So, guys, Mamadou Sundowns fans, feel free to jump in. Let's have a conversation about a conversation about this here game. I'm gonna start off with Agent Mabrara. How are you? Yeah, but now what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I just just try again, uh, agent. I can't hear you properly there. I... Hey, something's wrong. I think I'm I'm okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Now. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing, my brother? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I had an hour on Banyana Banyan. My my yeah. My calls no, are no, coming. It, it my calls are coming. It was my first time enjoying a, a non sundowns um view, you know. <laughs> you don't like the therapy Oslara sessions. And, uh, thanks to Clara uh, as always. And um I was to see where I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um it's always nice to hear from the experts in women's football, you know. Yes. Um mm. some of us love it, some of us don't support it as much as we could, you know, but we mm. do love it. So it's, it is nice to have people who love it and support it in the same breath. Mm. So um, I think that's part of that. And also I want to say, you know, <sighs> entertainers in general, be it musicians, especially comedians, there's a point that they look for in a crowd. 
such that when the crowd reaches its highest point of love, they leave. Mm. I'm not saying anything. You okay. understand? Hey, uh, <laughs> let's not, let's not. Agent, out to the game. It sounds fair, Fantas. Hey, don't, don't take me to make you <laughs> No, you understand. I, I okay, get you. Oh, Robert, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Did we win? Did we win? Mm. No, it was a win. Yeah, that's my opinion on the game. <laughs> you don't care about anything else. We won. Speak. That is my opinion on the game. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll leave you. I'll come back. PK, welcome to the show. Uh, how are you? Hey, OT, how's it? Uh... Hey, Ban Kabileka one line. Hey, Ban Kabileka one line. Hey, Eriko Vote. How did you see the game? But first, Banyana uh, Banyana, women's football guys, we're watching now. Or oh, we're getting in, yeah. not that. Mm. Yeah, no, I, unfortunately, I didn't watch Banyana Banyana yesterday, but uh, just saw the highlights there and then. I'm about to go and watch and analyze. Mm, mm, but mm. I don't want to comment on what I don't know, man. Mm. But I'm, I'm oh. heartbroken. But it's fine. Uh, on the other side, I'm happy. Uh, I'm winning the matches. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, no, yesterday's game, man. Mm. I think the other part that we need to be fair on Sundowns is that we are not playing alone in the ground. Okay. Uh, we have 11 men who are preparing also. We don't want to take anything for granted, mm. especially mm. with the style of play that we have. People mm. have read us. Uh, they have seen some certain weaknesses. Mm. Uh, we cannot continue to do one thing for over and over and expect the same results. Obviously, team are preparing. Team are studying Mamelodi Sundowns. You can see young... Uh, FC was well prepared. They closed mm. every angle. Mm. Also, Cape Town Spurs. Now, these PSL teams, they have came with a strategy to say the best thing to frustrate Mami Lodi Sundowns is to be behind the ball. Yeah. And whenever yeah. we are behind the ball, we know that they are slow. Uh, we can run. Especially, I'm, I'm scared of one team that can really expose us. And that team is TS Galaxy with the speed of Bo Mujalev. Who's that boy? Mojabilo and whom? I'm, I'm honestly scared. I want to, to see and test the strength of Sundowns, especially at the back, um, with that speed. Mm. Uh, that's one thing. Yesterday, Spurs was trying that with Abo Chupido, trying to break and run. But Mvana mm. did very well yesterday. Mm. Uh, obviously, there are certain things that we are not happy about. Uh, mm. uh, look, Oti, we've been complaining, man. We've been complaining about the refereeing officials. The officials, mm. uh, when it was whether on our favor or against our favor, it's been mm. a complaint. And mm. I'm not going to rejoice on uh, the incompetency of our officials. Mm. Um, they are killing South African football, if I can say. Now, mm. I, I don't want to be personal about uh, people know always, hey, by am to go to the But it's fine. Mm. Uh, the truth is that we are growing. Um, Sundowns have learned the hard way to play football, both in Africa and here. I mean, mm. yesterday we played. Today we are we are supposed to be relaxing. But mm. guess what? Tomorrow we have a game. So it, it's just too much. For sundowns, mm. we we, mm. we cannot put players in, 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 and expect them to be psychologically all right in such play in, in such. Uh, you were you were you OT, you were complaining on I think on Sunday about Chiefs traveling mm. on on the day before they play. But think mm. about sundowns. Mm. Sundowns just mm. came from 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 Cape Town. It has to go to Pretoria now. When are mm. they, these boys resting? Right, mm, mm, and we mm. expect them to give the full performance. Mm. Anxiety at some point comes in. Uh, we can probably argue the fact that, uh, yeah, but you guys have a, a strong squad, it's fine, but also the strong squad and the rotations requires requires time. Mm. 
it requires mm. a lot of things but mm. we are not complaining look we are not complaining i think the the, the management of such of sundowns have learned not to complain in any way uh, to a point that even rulan himself said i am out of social media because we don't play football in social media let mm. me stop there for now I will okay continue. Uh, Rulani's Rulani status is then Instagram that I really enjoy. Uh, let me go to Malums. Malums, welcome to the show. How are you? OT, I'm great. OT, I hmm. think that allow me to do a little bit of politicking before I, I give a bit of a review. Okay, hit me. You know, there's one thing I hate of lately that when coaches apparently they suddenly get the amnesia when it comes to the rules of the game. Mm. And they will stand on in front of cameras and say, no, I don't know how this happened. Why is this happening? Mm. And you ask yourself, this is a professional coach who's mm. supposed to know at least the rules that matter. We go to the game of Yanga where the coach of Yanga came onto the stage and did, did not know why the referee did not go and check. I believe mm. with all my heart that he knew why the referee did not go and check. Mm, but it's just mm. that he was playing dumb. He wanted a sympathy of uh, 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 some kids that she was friends in the whole of Tanzania. Mm. But unfortunately, um, it did not happen. Well, she supported him, but the rest of the country did not happen. And only two days later, when we had the referees, uh, uh, veterans who came out and say, but you should have known this rule. Mm. It happened again yesterday. When the mm. coach of Cape Town uh, 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 space apparently did not know the rules regarding the penalties. Mm. And we have to wait now for next week for Unobo to explain to him. I'm, I'm getting worried where the coaches are the ones who are misleading the public. When they, they are supposed to be the ones who are leading and saying, no, I know this is where the rule is, the, 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 the referee was right. Or at least I'm Coming not sure, game, I need I'm to look at it again. Sorry. Or at least they come out and say, I'm not sure, I need to go look at it again. For example, as a way to yes, deter. Yes, mm. yes, 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 yes. You know, OT, I'm reminded about what you said, uh, you raised a couple of weeks back when you said, is this low block that is being done by other teams against Sundowns, is it now maybe the secret to unlocking Sundowns? Mm. Uh, younger did the low block. Mm. Yesterday, we saw uh, bits and pieces of the low block being done by Cape Town Stairs. That nearly mm. had us as Sundowns. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like saying maybe you predicted something here to say, maybe the key to Sundowns is just a low block and try mm. to test them on the counter. But mm. I believe that we will, we, will, we will find a way through this. Mm. And lastly mm. from me, OT, is uh, Uri Bero is very selfish of lately. Yeah. Uh, Uri Bero is keeping the ball way too much more than necessary uh by the time that he releases the ball Ushaule is already mad um yeah but it was a good game uh we will take the three points i'm in the western cape i'm in cape town i went to the game conflicted because on one hand i want to have at least one team in cape town uh, i mean more than one team so that we can have more teams from Houghton to come this side but if we're gonna take the last team one of the teams that is it is in cape town i was conflicted yesterday someone asked me would you mind if Cape Town City, uh, Cape Town Spain win this game? I said, you know what? In my heart, I'm a sound on Spain. But today, I wouldn't mind donating this point to Cape Town. Thanks, mm. OT. Let me stop okay. there. Okay. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my rooms. Uh, Kataza 2.0. The better Kataza. I'm kidding. Uh, welcome to the show. How are you? <laughs> Kataza, you can just unmute there. Hey, yeah, sure, sure. How are you? <laughs> I'm good on you, my friend. I am good, I'm good. Ah, I saw the 2.0. Hey, yeah, no. uh. it's, it's a new and improved. <laughs> what are your thoughts about uh, this game, Cape Town Spurs, Babylon Sundowns? Ah, uh, but no, the game was good. Um, but I just want to touch on something that Maluma said, the, the gentleman that just came out. Um, yeah, it's my first time in this type of platforms. I want to see your lives and whatever. So I was like, hey, maybe let me give it a try. Welcome, uh, welcome. You're welcome. Don't worry. Sure. Hey, Uma Lums, that will make, uh, make some uh, very interesting points. So there's no way, guys, if you think you're going to play against Sanctums, now the new way is to play 
a low block. Mm. Come on, guys. Mm. If you th- if you look at the younger game, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of haters when it comes to Sundowns. Um, yeah. I- 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 Iyanga was pretty much non-existent uh, in the first half in terms of chances. Now, imagine this. This is the Champions League a level. This is our flagship competition. Mm. And we, we have guys playing the block. I will playing the low block. That's not even a pass, my brother. That's a whole terminal. <laughs> you know, they they got the whole terminal. Okay, I can understand Cape Town is all. That's a newly promoted team. Playing against Sundowns is not for even the best teams in Africa can't stand. Mm. But for Yanga, a team in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, mm. that coach has to do better. Obviously, there's going to be that talking point about yeah. the, the goal or the, the infamous no goal. Um, but if you, if, if you remove that, contro- that controversial moment, uh, that controversial moment that was there, Iyang was not really there. Anybody could see that Sundowns was the better club. Yeah. Um, one thing also, um, they, yesterday's games was a little bit busy at the time. I was busy at the time, so I didn't watch the game. I just saw the highlights. So I let the chance to actually watch the whole 90. To, to talk about it, but I got my three points out. You know, it's one of those things, I you know Christmas is coming. It, it always comes. And just must... one more point is there, Mr. OT. Yeah. Uh, I want to just mention my coach, Rulani, that he is making a little bit of a mistake there. We have a player that he buys at Pirates. Uh, which one? I don't know why he bought that player. He bought a lodge. Looking mm. at the squad that we have, I know it's not an opinion that uh, I'll share with a lot of, um, I don't know, South African football lovers or Sundance fans. My question is, who Lodge, what does Lodge bring that we do not have? Okay. Yeah, if, let's look at it from this pe- their perspective. What mm. does Lodge bring that Sundowns doesn't have? If mm. there is a meeting of the board of Sundowns with the coaches, along with the list of players that we need in the Sundowns team, mm. when Lodge's name comes out, under what criteria was he put under? So I'm guessing Sundowns is a really robust uh, recruitment regime, right? Mm, we go mm. to South America, we go to Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Bolivia, to go to the best team, though, Bolivar. So I like to think if you come at Sundowns, you've been properly scouted. Um, they've done their due diligence to come and say, okay, guys, okay, mm. this season, I think we need a Ribeiro. Uh, we need an Escoval. Now, when Lodge's name came up, what was that need that needed to be satisfied to say, mm. let's pay however money to Pirate to bring him across? One, as a fan, that signing uh, brought a lot of pain and talking and debates and fights. Ah, Usuta to Lodge, Usuta to Lodge. In my heart, I was like, I also don't know why Lodge is there. Mm. I have a guy like Serenio who's been starved. Mm. Uh, looking at that younger game, it's one of it's the most important game we've played this season. Uh, uh, if you put aside the the, the 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 Super League, yeah, the final of the Super League, I think that game was a do or die. Mm. Because if you think of it, my brother, in 2025 there's going to be the Club World Cup in America, mm. which is going to take 32 teams, um, and four are going to be taken from the African uh, uh, um, continent, mm. and I need some uh, Sundowns to be there. Right now, we are currently world ranked first in Africa. We are currently ranked uh, in the top 100 football clubs in Africa. So it would be a shame. And we need to win this Champions League. To take someone who bought in January mm. over a squad, that we must say, guys, has been performing. We won the Super League without a lodge. We won the league the last seven times without a lodge. Mm. What is that pertinent issue why we're saying now we must bring lodge? Is it because... Urulani must say that he has a soft spot for the boy. Mm. There was more of mm. a personal buy. Mm. Say, my boy, I'll bring you through rather than okay. a Sundown's need, Lodge needs to penetrate. So if you can, guys can think about that point, uh, maybe some of the guys can help me and then maybe if you bring me back again, I, I, maybe if they can change my mind. What okay. is that Lodge has brought to Sundown's? There was not there that we as Sundown are saying, hey, man, hey, we need Lodge. Mm. In your okay. soul, whatever they call him. Yeah. <laughs> what do we, what do we need? I'll I'll leave it. I'll leave it there. I, I'm gonna come back. Stay on. Let me go to Kuma Kuma. Get those birds. One need. 
How are you yeah, feeling about man. the game? Ah, win, you win. Let this one guys move on. Um, Kataza, welcome to the show, my brother. And let me tell you, reaching the quarterfinals of KF doesn't mean anything. I mean, teams went all the way to the final. And you know how mediocre they are. Um, and yesterday, I was excited to see Young Madena on the lineup and to see Bartman play. So imagine if those two had to play at the same time, bruh. It would have been such a new rivalry, you know, brew was going to add some excitement to, to the game. But anyway, I digress, man. Ah, oh, man, same with one. We had the best chance. We had most of the ball. Our, our, we had more than double of percentage of passing accuracy. But then again, the game scored a lot of goals as we should have. Yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, one thing about Sundowns, man, yeah, is lately and we've been schooling these people on the field and also in the regulations and rules yeah uh-huh. if people are still questioning what if it was a penalty it was according to FIFA law of at 91 chapter 6 very if a person is fouled outside and he his feet mara he falls inside it's a penalty mm. <laughs> so i gotta give you var now, mm. if your team said to play VAR games, you know, look at Aloha and your dad anyway, I read that, ne? So, I would have loved to see um, Chalulile actually take the penalty and score. I feel like that was going to actually instill some confidence in him. And mm. maybe it was a push and, or that boost that he needed for him to start scoring, ne? Um, okay. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. You know, it was a it was a different squad yesterday to start ball. Nashi, Hu, Wawona. You see some other people coming in Volvo, Escobar and stuff. Go on for the talent that you have, man. Mm. Don't feel like if you can just bolster our striker situation. You know, you know, you know, you know. But in the movie stage, what do I even not enough movie on stage, what do I But yeah, mm-hmm. man, that's the okay. thing that we needed. And yeah, there wasn't much to the game because we did the same way we played. But yeah, mm-hmm. I'm happy for the three points. Nothing more to complain about. Uh, let me go to uh, Mto. Mto. Uh, <laughs> with a different view. <laughs> Tell me, uh, what did you think on. about uh, <laughs> Sundown uh, 1 0 win? You know the sometimes we're gonna be a, a lot more uh, active about this. Actually, the one the foul only gonna by by Italy before the incident. He he was pulling on the by so I mean that was the first offense before he, offense has been, before analyzing it. Offense has been, and it, nobody talked about it, and I'm worried about this my analyst that we have. Mm. Uh, TV, TV, I mean, we should have analyzed that too. And, it's unfortunate because he comes as if he needed that point, even if it was a point that they could have out, out of the team. It was going to mean something for the uh, survival case, you know. So it's unfortunate that nobody, that everyone is talking about that. If, even if you carry one to the ball and you're still committing an offense, like, okay, fine, but what, what did you really do to move it? You were pulling, and that's mm. an offense in itself. Yeah. You must just be a uh, lot, a lot more effective when you analyze. Uh, I think the um, most worrying thing that I wanted to to say for me uh, is that the, I don't know if you are aware of the AP. If it's sometimes a uh, hypothetical meeting, sometimes you have to lose all of your games and choose your team. You know, you know, uh... you sometimes imagine <laughs> that's so disappointing. Right? That's so disappointing. Mathematically, we're out of another running. How bad, how bad have we been this season? Sometimes we have to win, and they even have games in hand. We, we won't be able to even play them. So, hey, we've been so bad, man. Uh, uh, uh. Again, there's something about um, our league that is becoming a form of league, and unless Bokos and Bokos and guys take a... Um, this thing serious and try and try to sometimes. Uh, honestly, we, we, we won't watch it. We will know which way it's going to win. Just where it's going. Mm, mm, mm. So for me, I'm worried more about 
that more than anything is becoming a hope now. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, I just muted there to try PK. I don't think it has... I'll, I'll, I'll sort it out, guys. I'll sort it out. Don't worry. Um, agent, I'm going to ask you to just push through. Uh, when... Two questions. Is the low block the answer? So is the low block uh, now becoming the foil of Sundowns? It's getting closer and closer. And I know, again, it's champagne problems because you are still winning your games. Uh, at most, you might get a draw. Uh, is, is this low block issue becoming a problem? And then number two, when we look at this team, um, is this closer to what the first team looks like? Are you guys working towards uh, merging Bo Island uh, into this team again? Or are we still rotating? Ivan, kind of agent said it muted. Let me go to PK. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah ish, bro. You need to work on the echo. Eh? Now I have to watch on YouTube, and on YouTube is a bit delayed. In two hours, still speaking. Mm -mm -mm. So, ish, you need to work on the echo. Sorry, guys. I said, nah. I guess no, panic or my dance, <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, maybe you should use the phone for, for panel, man. Eh? But, mm. anyways, anyways. <sighs> I think he, historically, and I stand to correct it, mm. from on top of my head, usually at this stage of the campaign, sundowns starts to go down. Okay. Performance wise and everything wise. Mm. Historically, like I said, uh, uh, you have sundowns people here don't correct me, but at this time, sundowns usually. Is going is on is on the down is going down you know mm. the only season that we went up at this time of the season was the case of ship season you know give us mm. our trophy season you know that's mm. about the only time that i recall that we were not like i thinking at this at this kind of at this stage of the season you know mm. and what causes that fatigue a lot of gains what is it complacency creeping in all of the above i don't know mm. you know mm. but i think it is something that has been happening consistently mm. and i think the difference between that and the sundowns team is that sundowns win the sundowns team wins mm. Mm. i think that's just about the difference you know mm. the reason why we've been feeling in care is because when it comes at this stage of season we generally our play goes down mm. you know and yeah. um i think now combined with, with the younger factor i'll call it the younger factor because i think we saw it fully against the younger first leg second leg uh, for the second leg we saw which has been adopting similar tactics and then you saw younger the second half you know mm. and that was a low block. It was really false defense. Um, double decker bus. Mm. But what Cape Town City played was, I feel like it, it goes back to something that I sometimes say. Sometimes when you smell blood, go for the kill. Mm. First mm. half, Cape Town City, uh, Cape Town Spurs, sorry, uh, to, to the Muchinis uh, chickens, as they used to be called. Um, First half, they're in a low block, but it has a dynamic low block in the sense that it wasn't always fully sitting in. Yeah. They could press, two or three players could press us. It wasn't the younger kind of uh, low block. In the second mm. half, they're like, I mean, these guys are up for the taking, mm. and they got the confidence to go up. So I think mm. South African teams generally can't smell when Sundowns is having an off day. Mm. You know? Mm. So mm. I think that's another thing that it's not just a case of a low block, it's a case of sometimes first 10 minutes I can tell you how something is going to play. Mm. First 5 minutes I can tell you how Zwane is going to play. Mm. If Zwane takes the ball, that's a little shimmy, he, he's going to have a good game. Mm. He takes the ball, he misplaces the pass, he's going to have a horrible game. Mm. First 10 minutes sundowns, if they can make 5-6 passes combined going forward, you are in for a take. But if he, he misplaces passes, they are having an off day. Mm. 
you know so it's up to teams to adopt yes can see it but do you smell the blood but, and but then to do just just to jump in there um no i don't know i don't know how to how to, how to put this but isn't that then does it worry you that especially at this time of the season fine the league is wrapped up you guys did that earlier but going to the champions league you're going to play what is meant to be better teams does it worry you at all that if if richards bay can pull it off for 89 minutes if Yanga can go to a penalty situation if cape town spurs bottom team in our league can you know it it, it can be so close does it worry you at all is it something that uh, going into this champions league games do you have sleepless nights over it i am taking i take a lot but again you are asking me that should i trust a a, a gogo at home he has delivered kids and grandkids and drink 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 kids at home mm. uh, missing traditional methods mm. do i trust him i am mean, trust her or should i trust that the that, that vices of doctors that hi man hey, there has to be sterilization there has to be what what mm. you know but this lady has been doing it without all those things he knows the stuff mm. you know so mm. doesn't that give me benefit of the doubt or trust the lady you know so i think kev has taught us what i'm seeing short that what you call ugly game wins are kev mm. so some teams have been doing it for many years doing mm. it ugly mm. um i don't think we're dead al ali um have been better teams than us in the past three years yeah with the ugly football but they've been winning you know mm. and they've been mm. winning playing exactly as horrible as sanders is playing Mm. so mm. maybe this is the blueprint you know okay. this is the old lady that you have to trust unfortunately okay. and hope that it delivers hey, let, let me go to pk pk do you worry at all that it's getting harder and harder like there was a point where low blocks for sundowns was a situation of okay they're playing a low block we get our one goal and then you know we pass the ball around then it's starting to become, you know, last minute chances. You need to get a penalty. You need to get a smart free kick uh, from from out from open play. Sundowns is not necessarily getting those type of chances. I mean, yesterday you got three chances on target, for example. Do you worry at all that man got a low block in at this point of the season in that other competition can be an issue for you guys? Uh, OT, uh, honestly, it can be it can be an issue in PSL games, okay. but in Afcon, especially playing Al Ahly, Weidat, these teams. Let mm. me tell you. Let me support my my argument. Okay. Uh, whenever a team is not willing to attack Sundowns or play or even threaten Sundowns like Yanga, yeah, and and they are committed on defending. Mm. because we are not used to that we are used to open play like orlando pirates for example it's mm. not obvious it's not it's not a, a hassle for us to play orlando pirates why because it's a one man one man you mm. mark a player mm. you go it's, it's a pound for pound you see when a team the team that represent pound for pound it's orlando pirates and and uh, uh mamelody sundowns Hmm. Now, when we go outside and we are playing Weida or this Esperanza, you will see. And and please, so just bear in mind, we're gonna play Esperanza now. Hmm. Watch, watch the football. Those hmm. guys, they not gonna, they are, they not, they are not fearful. They gonna hmm. attack on every side. They not gonna do this low block. Hmm. And hmm. watch when we, you start to, to see the real sundowns coming to a party, because now it's a, it's a, let's go. It's there is hmm. no fear. There is mm. no defending. It's like we are playing football. Mm. The problem about the PSL team, and and PS team, PSL team can defend, man. I, and I want to quote this thing of, look, Chiefs went to went to the final. I think it was 2019, right? Around there. 
it went to the final through the defending. It defended very good low block. Mm. Uh, but at the end, in the final, it has to be challenged because this is the final, right? Mm. Mm. Now, I'm saying, in PSL, you find teams like Spurs who are fighting for relegation. You, mm. you, you give them sundowns. Obviously, one mind it is that we know that they are not speedy. We will, we will continue to press on. We will make that breakthroughs. What I have seen, which I am glad about yesterday, is that mm. Ribeiro tried by all means to play those short passes. Yes. At, at some point, you will ask yourself, why didn't you shoot? They are... You can you can see the strategy of Rulani coming, trying to break these low blocks, and that's what I love about Sundowns. Mm. You come with a strategy, they approach the strategy, try to 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 match the strategy. I don't mm. think low blocks will be a problem in the next season because we will be able to find it. And I'm glad when he brought look look at change. The change was tactical when he brought uh, Miami. Why? Because Miami can take those shots. They know they know that Mokwena is dangerous in range and he was close to Mukwena was marked by two players yesterday mm, when he mm. tries to go left or right they are there because they know those shots are danger mm. but now he brought he brought um this boy Maema whereby mm. if if Maema is here Maema is able to do one two and I, I can tell you why we were winning Peter Shalilio was very sharp in the last season and we cannot dispute the fact that he's not that into that level where he can turn and, and just kick the ball mm. he's not into that level anymore but we are trying to make these breakthroughs right mm. Uh, mm. and and we have tried it with the our the, the sides right uh, Lodge is playing a crucial role and that is why Lodge in his men of the match was saying a uh, coach said to me i must shoot because that's mm. what sundowns lack like. mm. we mm -hmm. lack a shooter someone who can who can shoot and score the goal so mm. that's 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 the thing that sound any man i can't i can't dispute the fact that we don't have shooters in sundown so uh, uh, um zwani can make a good run and break through but when he's supposed to shoot he will pass that's mm. our problem it, it's mm. been a problem uh, ribeiro he's able to kill but when he's close he's trying to make this system of pass 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 let's shoot but mm. it was not there mm. and, and i'm saying watch out for for mm. you see this game this last stage of kef you will see the real sundowns because now it requires everyone to play and i trust this team this team al ah is not fearful uh, it's not fearful to 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 attack mamelodi sundowns mm. actually all these teams that are remaining are not fearful of mamelodi sundowns and that's what i love uh, but pk we saw we saw al ali i don't even want to use al ali because their football is atrocious but we saw al ali low block try a low block in the afl we even saw we did try a low block I, I i hear you but again doesn't it worry you that you have to hope that that team comes and plays whereas maybe that team goes you know what guys we are a bigger well we are big teams we are maybe we can be more positionally and tactically disciplined uh, uh, to make the low block go the distance um and we've seen young and those guys do it and we can adopt it in order to frustrate sundowns maybe they also understand that if you do drag go pound for pound that's when sundowns at its best doesn't it worry you that there's that escape button for these teams maybe it, it does it does bro it does worry me believe me it does worry me that is why i'm saying i'm hoping mm, uh, mm, that, mm. that they can play us it, now the biggest challenge is that uh okay fine we're gonna block and sometimes can play that thing can say okay we will also relax mm. uh, let's see in the penalties now who is being challenged right because yeah. they're not weak at penalties uh, mm. same as younger 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 you can see through they are playing was like okay if we can just hold them mm. uh, best for luck we can we can score mm. and we don't go to the penalties but we went to the penalties mm. and the very same mm. thing happened we won now mm. the, the biggest challenge is that if al Ahi does that and you know the saves it's not it's, it, i i mean this boy man uh williams have saved us several times in penalties mm. crucial penalties that needed to be converted and mm. they were not now mm. it's fine it's fine we can relax 
I don't think we we also gonna go brainwash there and we say mm. we are attacking, attacking, attacking. Mm, mm, I've mm. seen sundowns. I don't know. We were playing in AFL. We were playing. I think with that, uh, mm. where we got the penalty. Hey, we we shut the back door for the first time. I saw us defending like that, uh, and mm. and and it means that we have that ability to defend also. Mm. So, uh, okay. but are we are we displaying the football that need to be displayed? Is mm. it here? Remember, we are carrying pride here. We are carrying brands. Mm. Uh, either way, uh, if you do that as an al ahli you will be judged. Uh, mm. al ahli they sit down after the match, they will analyze and they say, yeah, and yeah, you didn't do one to those people. It's a community. It's a community football team. So you mm. do something, you are judged by media. I think that's what they will fear to play as if they are inferior to sundowns and uh, mm -hmm. these are big brands that's what i'm hoping I, mm. but it scares me to be honest it scares me when when teams come with that mentality of saying we're gonna defend and we're not willing to okay. attack sundowns uh kumo i've got the same question for you does it worry you at all that um it's getting harder and harder to beat these low blocks and maybe the league doesn't really matter that much but could it be something that you're scared that it's a button that teams can press? Hey, as Funu consider 2 3 versus Sundowns, let's go nil nil. Let's try scraper 1 nil and just play this low block. One thing about Mulungi is he's the student of the game. Eh? Mm. Oh man, he saw this low block nonsense a long time ago. Then come on, like Sundowns, we are there to analyze our game. So. You know what you are facing. I mean, like you go to KF, you go to AFL, Medbank, um, PSL, Black mm. Nouveau, same play. So mm. we, we, I think we're the only team that only play. I, I mean, that teams only play low block against that. So obviously, mm. we're gonna adapt to it. Let me show mm. an example of our evolution of low block. What me the low block, no? Like mm. it's uh, Alende, right? Mm. From mm. Alende. I graduated against Magina, see, um, the Lodge. Those mm. players are similar, but what we say, oh, Surino, Letemba, because I can eat it. Fine. Now, because of creative, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to have to adapt. That's why mm. I can say, oh, but Maseko for speed, I can say, how bad it has to speed. I want to get progression ahead. Not only mm. that, now it's starting to speed. Sundown so playing the the the, the game to go the long passes over defender defender so one it's mm. a transition so I'm assuming that he's gonna get someone taller someone kahit ya makopa no really makopa because makopa remark the mono was not the he can do sundowns maybe if a few problem the one he would be suited for our game okay. so yeah man I. This low block nonsense is going to be there, and it's a shame that people have to revert to the one play against Sundance. Maranagi is a compliment for one. I'm not scared mm. of anything. I mean, like, Rolando Luburitsa, I'm being chameleon. Chameleon, like, I'm going to have to reiterate here on this life every day. Yes, the clue is in the name. Chameleon basically means you change. Whatever mm. situation there is, if the situation requires you to 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 park the bus, you are park. If it wants you to attack, you attack, and so forth. So, want, mm. so it's part of it. It's frustrating, low block, especially when you are a team that loves to play, a team that mm. loves to pass it, a team that loves good football. But then mm. again, a win is a win, and if you're gonna win that way, it's fine. One thing okay. that I like about my team is that of we grinding out results. Then it's mm. controversial. We move on. We argue. You, you just can come here and say, as all you want. Just somehow you don't change the results. You got three points and you got the three final spot. Okay, okay. Uh, I want to go to Agent. Agent, I want to shift a little bit and go towards Cape Town Spurs. We've all said they're playing better. We've all said they're doing all these things. What about that guy? And uh, would a relegation be unfair for that team? For well, this, this, this version, this version of the Cape Town Spurs. <laughs> Life is unfair. Mm. I think 
bear the sacrificial lamp. Mm. You know, because if you recall well, the narrative has always been teams are always unfair when they're cutthroat, when players promote them and they discard them and they discard mm. the coach. Mm. Mm. And always be like, I hope that team gets relegated. They didn't treat player X, player so and so right. They didn't treat that coach right. Mm. I think they have shown, and hopefully teams like Amatags, um, is it is it Millwall which is leading? One of them. Oh, which um, promoted. isn't it Orbit? Anyway, ah, uh, uh, sorry, mm. Orbit. Yeah, one of them. It's a key. It's, I don't know. I don't know how 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 you works. Does it take your students? Does it? Or it's free to sign anyone. I don't know how that works. But oh, it's free to sign anyone. Yeah, now they're yeah, free to sign then, anyone. Mm. Then I hope that they beef up that squad and maybe bring in an experienced coach like Middendorf, maybe, mm. you know? And I know you've got a quality recycling, mm. but again, you have to take someone who's proven, even if, again, sometimes it has to go with planning, right? Mm. I don't know who that mm. coach is. I'm, Okay, okay, okay. Um, that was a okay, son. I'm forgetting his yeah, I'm forgetting his name, but I, mean, I don't. I can't even recall his his name. I mean, know his name on top of my head. So, mm. it, which means he might be a good coach. He might be a promising coach. Mm. Like Benny was under 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 company, but maybe co coach him or talk with him that we are not demoting you. We are saying. We're bringing in someone who's gonna guide you and make us survive the first season because it's surviving the first season which is most important. Mm. The second season, I feel like it's important. Mm. I mean, it's less, it's, it's easy. less important, mm. you know. So, mm. I think they suffered the price of, of loyalty, unfortunately, you know. Mm. Mm. And they brought in middle of late, and we know middle of needs his pre season. And lucky for them, he got an Afghan break. And to be fair, they don't deserve to go down. Mm. You know? Mm. Um, but who who deserves to go down if mm. they don't deserve to go down? <laughs> That's mm. the question. Mm. 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 Does Richard's business deserve to go down? I mean, at some point, I recall Richard's business were number one. At some point, I don't know if it is this season or the last one. Mm. You know? Mm. So Should... Um, no, go on, go on, yeah. go on, sorry. Yeah, no. no, yeah, so I'm, I'm just saying that they play good football and I wish that they don't relegate, but it, it's looking bleak for them. Should this performance inspire other PSL teams? And, and, and maybe, obviously, it's probably too late now that, you know, you can play versus Sundowns. And, and I know, again, it's, it's, it's exaggerated because it's Mamari Sundowns, but you can actually go out and play against them. As a Sundowns fan, I wish you guys can do that next season, not this uh. season. Um, it would be nice, guys, hey? If we could have a, a golden trophy, hey? I would be interested to see if <laughs> uh, <laughs> a, a multi has saved a golden trophy somewhere, mm -hmm. or they'll just give us the silver one. Mm. Um, but I think, like I said, you have to have a game plan. Mm. You can't go pound for pound with Sundowns. Mm. Mm. But we have to quantify that and say you can't go pound for pound with Sundowns the whole game. Mm. But you can choose your moments. You know, you can say 10 minutes, I'm sitting back, next five minutes we attack because if there's anything that we've seen, and sometimes when you attack it, they get jittery. Mm. You know, so I think from what I've seen now, Cape Town's best game, Cape Town City, if you can make, prevent sometimes from even majority of the ball, they're going to suffer. If you're going to low block, then have a, a disciplined low block. No, 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 low block like younger. Or be threatening like the degrees of Kiza Chiefs. Mm. You know, and I, I know people are mentioning Tears Galaxy and stuff, but if there's one game that I'm worried about, 
is the Kiza Chiefs game. Of all the games, it's the one game that I've, I'm worried about a loss in that game. You know, hopefully they have an off day and we can beat them. Uh, and Zeki's yeah. gone. Zeki understood you yeah. guys. This new coach doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, and I and I and I had our answer with Dukus on the on the on the on the down there. I just wanted to say uh Monopolis and then deserve to win <laughs> but anyways. Uh, okay, they are PK, um same two questions for you. Uh Cape Town Spurs, you know, they they're playing, they look good. Um, are they just still suffering from the sins of early in the season? And then secondly, should they inspire some teams to be able to come against Sundowns and, and at least have a plan and, and actually play? It doesn't mean that you have to go pound for pound. Uh, you have to go, you know, blow for blow and try and outplay them. But have a plan and actually show up in the game. Oh, true, 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 OT. I believe that... Um... How how you know the problem again it is that when teams always play a tough team like Sundowns, they come to the party. I don't know, maybe they are promised bonuses or what. Mm, mm, mm. If 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 they can just continue the way they continued yesterday, I think they will they wouldn't be where they are at this mm. moment. Mm. And what they have shown also with Richards Bay, mm. what they have done, I think with the remaining games, if they can continue with that tempo, with that consistency, we can see results from both sides, right? Mm. I mean, mm. uh, it's not yet over. Um, what they did yesterday, I was even shocked to say how. This team can play most. What's the problem? Mm. Uh, what's mm. the problem? Because they are well-structured. They are disciplined about the ball. Uh, you know, you know, Uti, when, when, when you are... Um, and I will make this example. When you are when you are a premier ne? or a councillor, let me say a councillor mm. of the ward, and, mm. and they say president is coming. Mm. And jiggy jiggy, the taps are running clean water, the, the road, <laughs> there is no potholes and stuff. <laughs> is this PSL teams? When something mm. is coming, they, they 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 put their house in order. But you find out that it's already late. Like for mm. now, we 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 are, we are just. I think we are left with two games to win the league. Mm. Done. Finish for from mm. the second and the third one who are in runners. Mm. Um, so I don't understand because the first round, that's where Sundowns makes sure. If someone, if these teams can come with the mentality to say we want to participate, now mm. they are waking up now. The 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 Cape Town Spurs. Mm. Uh, and and you know what is it in? you might find out that they're gonna sell the status that that's mm. that's always been the problem to mm, say mm, mm. are you honestly playing for the batch do you want to grow and 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 be in a position uh, like royal am you know how royal am came into the party they were like mm. i don't know what mm. went wrong mm. but look where they are now this mm. that consistency of of running if or maybe it was the coach. I don't mm. know. Maybe it was the coach. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what is the issue in Cape Town space. But PK, do teams write off the Mamari Sundowns game? So is it has it become okay in the league to write it off? You know, uh, uh, you know, we're gonna play Sundowns tomorrow, as in case. <laughs> Let's give them the three points. We need to focus on cheaper the next day or cheaper in four <laughs> days' time. We can relax on the Sundowns one. Sit back, defend. It's gonna be tough, but as long as we we limit damage, <laughs> uh, we don't necessarily need to win that game. I think I think that's that's the honest truth, uh, 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 Ot. Look, whenever who is playing Sundowns uh, right now, and this is remember here we are talking about an individual career. Mm. Uh, Lodge didn't look right or left when he was offered. A deal in Sundowns. Why? Because uh, he feels like my career now can have a way of improving, and mm. um, it's no longer interesting. Like when you want to go to Chiefs, you will be excited. In mm. fact, I don't think now at this moment there are players who are senior who will want to say, "Hey, I want to go to Chiefs." Who really want to grow in career-wise? Mm. 
mm. right? But if mm. you want, you ask a player to go to Sundowns, and that is why maybe, maybe, remember players are also marketing themselves. Mm. It's like those who are coming from Medbank Cup, from Vela, when they play Chiefs or Pirates or Sundowns, they make sure, you will even mm. ask yourself, how, why you are not in the league? And you find that time, they are number 13, like Milford, in the other league. Mm. But the, the way, the style of play. So I'm mm. saying, whenever these teams come to Sundowns, there is a point that they want to prove to say, uh, you know, it's it, it's like sometimes it's a motivation to them to say, at least if I can match Uzwane and today I can mark Ushanuli uh, and make sure Ubutin uh, Makile, I will feel like a player. But mm. when you go to Amazulu, you 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 relax. Why? Why why would you do that? Mm, uh, so mm, so mm. it's 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 that that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, you know, this guy is always cool. This Paris guy. <laughs> but it's fine. Okay. I think, okay, I think it's okay. even in Paris, when they play Sundowns, it's like a motivation. Look at Salim now. Mm. Uh, but I don't want to go there. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, Kumo, to close off the show, tell me, Kumo. Uh, those are my two questions. What what happened at Cape Town Spurs? Are they, are they at the mercy of uh, the, the first <laughs> round results? <laughs> Are they at the mercy of uh, the, the first round results? Oh, volume, Kumo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Am I okay now? <laughs> yeah, you're okay now. So I was saying, what, what's gone wrong? Because gone they wrong? seem to be playing. Is it too late? Uh, is it because of the start of the season? And then secondly, uh, when we're talking about teams that go to play Sundowns, does Cape Town Spurs, this Cape Town Spurs performance show that I'm on, you can actually play because my feeling is that a lot of the teams in the league, when they look at the Mamadou Sundowns fixture, they just go, hey man, uh, it's Sundowns, we can, let's give them the three points, let's go and defend, don't try anything new, and uh, let's move on to cheaper the following Wednesday because you guys aren't beaten. Um, Sundowns um, is the only feature that every PSL team looks forward to without any pressure. That is why mm. players try to become creative. They were like, given that. Is this the same Mabasa? Mm. Um, ah, my guy, people want to play against the best. And like, if you're a professional somebody, or even a fan, for instance, if a team that you admire or that you hate, but you know they're the best in, in Africa, you always gonna wanna show your best. But do it's they? But, but, but do they? Uh, Kuma, overall, do they? Because for me, it feels like a lot of the Sundown games uh, are dead rubber games up until a time where Cape Town Spurs is in relegation, they need to go win a game. You know, Richards Bay, they're in relegation. They, they come with a low block, but for the most part, it, it feels as though, you know, lose the game. It's fine. The sundowns move on. As, as, as the team, as the, the league adopted that. Yeah, it has. But remember when Amal really became the first team to actually take us on? That mm. means that they almost won against us. Remember when we had a draw with Norwegian somewhere along those lines? Mm. Mm. Um, so. I believe like people wanna um they put their best forwards when they play against Sundowns, whether it's the one on Jason Manu with the whole poor he, he might sign one of them. And like everyone when they play the Sundowns, the underdogs. You know when you have that underdog under underdogs tag, oh you have nothing to lose. Mm. I want mm. some bigger teams, it's all about pride. I want just mm. to prove a pain with their trophy. Some mm. smaller teams you know what, we've been struggling, but let's do our best here, most fun dancer, and show them what we can do. You know, just have fun. Uh, what was the first mm. question again? No, that was that was the question I wanted to ask about in Cape Town Spurs. What's going wrong? Are they still paying for the sins because they're showing that they can play? Yeah, my bro, you know, I'm going to be a mini Iskombela agent in now, I wonder. But I suck, and maybe I'm not old enough to be wise. Good. Um, all I'm saying is that um, when you start the marathon, yeah, you start at the same pace. Then you get your Ethiopians and your Kenyans. <laughs> I suck at this. Ah, let me ah. not which <laughs> But all 
I'm ah. saying, ne? You can run 100 meters, see? Um, only go 200 meters starting point. Right? Yeah. Eventually, you're gonna start, you're gonna get there. But all the teams and your peers have already left you. It's, uh, it's uh, too little, uh. too late. I understand this thing already. You are against toward this thing. Yeah, um, rewarding um um coaches that have brought you from the um lower championship to the TSL. But if you don't do it, that's not that's not um that's not a good thing. I, I believe that you should do what Margaret they made you qualify. Yeah. But then again, you shouldn't wait so long to replace that coach if you're gonna replace him eventually and hope for a miracle. Well, Kalohan, that's all I'm saying. And if yeah. you, do they deserve to get relocated? Um remove emotions aside. Yes, they do because they are the worst performing team in the league so far. Mm, mm, but then again, mm. it seems to be performing like KAK. They are the ones that deserve to be relegated by the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey. playing the card. Yo, Maluve was playing the card. Okay, Maluve I'm going to let you what? in because you're a member. 20 seconds, you're a member. I'm going to let you in as, as a contributing member to Overthinking no. Football. 20 I'm seconds. I'm a member. Guys, join as members so that you can enjoy the benefits. <laughs> this is the only thing. I'm not going to point anyone. That's not lie. That's not true. Extremely well, but no one really cares about Sundown. In fact, no one shows their talent against Sundown. People buy a lala. But I'm going to tell you about Tetra versus Paisa King. You will see the skills. Can I give my unzam versus Paisa King? Who keep us on this panel? But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. Oh, I'm going to tell you this. I'm glad you. In petrol, I'm saying yes, you know, because we corrected them with the uh, 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 people come to sit down, a dead rubber. No one mm. shows their talent. No, mm. they will not correct talent or lay with it. Players, even sit down players, they are extremely motivated when they play Chiefs and sit down and Pirates. Um, Tawagas are core. Okore only against Chiefs. As Michelle even dedicated the goal to his parents. Mm. They, they they dedicate everything. They will put a correct angel with their head. Okay. Let's not lie. This team, <laughs> and I'm an opponent, people don't market themselves like in some towns. Hello, LNG. Hello, mm. Mr. Oti. Uh, everyone, become a member so that you can request to join. <laughs> yeah, well, Mr. Oti. No, thank you. <laughs> That was a member pack, guys. This is a member pack. Uh, these are the guys that actually, you know, fund the show, basically. Um, okay. This is what I feel. Um, on the last point, I feel, and, and, and it's something I've been complaining about the whole season, if, if you guys listen properly to the shows, I've been complaining that a lot of teams get to sundowns, and I don't want to say the myth, they want to go, you know what, guys? Sundowns is the big bad. Everybody will understand if we lose this game, right? Everybody will understand. It's there and there where teams have come out and actually played. And Sundowns, for the large part of it, is unbeaten a lot because of that. And it's not to say that Sundowns would lose those games with if, players, if, if teams came to play. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that a lot of teams are afraid of the boogeyman, right? And you could say rightfully so, but when they get to Sundowns, it's almost like you can write off that game. Guys, it was Sundowns, they're the top team, Relaxani, it's okay, uh, go. It's only now, uh, I would say, and then even, you know, Nelly Richards Bay set back, even now, where I think Cape Town Spurs' relegation battle is more to do with their performance versus Sundowns, then Cape Town Spurs waking up to go play Sundowns. I think Sundowns has become the boogeyman. I think Sundowns is, is Barcelona. When Barcelona was on that run, um, um, that, that three years where they were hot, where it's okay to lose versus that team. Don't go too hard. Don't do all of these things. Just go out, honor the fixture, and go home. Um, 
you see it more, and you know, I'm going to agree with Balube Kutu, but I'm going to put it a different way. You see it more when teams come play the Chiefs because they understand, and it's not that Chiefs is good, they understand that you'll trend, uh, you will probably get signed the following day by someone, not Sundowns, by someone, and you watch them celebrate a lot more. If you watch Chipper United, yeah, the way those guys, Abu Musele, man, they were celebrating, making fun. It was, it was very high. But that's more for not to play against Chiefs and their brand. It's more about the exposure that you can get from winning versus Chiefs based on, based on what you can see. And also based on the fact that if there is a big team that you can get something from on top of everything else, you aim at Chiefs. You're not going to get it from Sundowns. Pirates will probably go and embarrass you. If you look at it, Chiefs is the one you can look at and go, actually, man, I can become famous. I can possibly uh, raise my, my, my profile. And they're actually there for the taking, right? So this is, this is what I think is happening in the league. But anyway, guys, Cape Town Spurs, they're dying. They're dying because, Shem, uh, they stuck on to Bartlett uh, a, a lot longer than they should have. If we're being 100% honest, they stuck on to Bartlett, they stuck on to Will Clayton, Daniels, Abba Michael Morton, all of those players. You don't see them playing in this team. Middle of cleaned house and he's looking better for it. So maybe if it was something that was done earlier, that could have been something. Um, guys, I went over, but uh, just to be fair, I went over, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for, for engaging on the Banyana Banyana uh, topic. We've been trying on this platform to get to that point where we take them seriously. And they're a team that we're maybe two years too late in taking them seriously. Um, they've been our best performers and we just haven't been looking. So it was very good to have that conversation. And I hope that we don't stop here. I hope that it spills over to Hollywood bets. I also admit I'm not a, 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 a consistent watcher of Hollywood bets, but we're learning, we're growing, we're trying, uh, we're, we're on there. Guys, um, if you have not followed, please follow. Uh, if you want to be one of the members and possibly make a, a, a request similar to what Malume Kutso did right there as a member, go on over to YouTube, click on subscribe, click on join. We have a WhatsApp group. It's incredible. Um, we have incredible conversations back and forth. We don't always agree. We always, hey, we learn, right? Um, that is available. So head on over to YouTube, click subscribe, click on join. The normal show is Monday to Thursday at 7 p.m. Fridays, again, another perk, half past 12 in the afternoon. My members get to lead the show. They choose the topic. They run the show, right? And also do watch-alongs of the big three, Mamadou Sun Towns, uh, Keza Chiefs, and Pirates. Um, and also Banyana Banyana, Bafana Bafana, and um, special interest games, Champions League, things like that. So, guys, please, please, please uh, support. I also do my own content that I put out. So, uh, that I put out... Uh, on YouTube, on Facebook, on TikTok. Support, guys. Support, support, support. Trying to grow this thing and fix South African football. <laughs> Fighting no one. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys then tomorrow at 7 p.m. Bye, guys. Thank you to Spusiso for the roses. Thank you to, to Frankie for always coming through with the roses. Thanks, guys.